Hey, Bob. Hey, PT. Ready to do it? Indeed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to the epic, the sardonic, the tintillating, best fit square! Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Manuel Ortega, and this is Best Fit Square Show. <laughs> hey everybody, that's BT. Hey PT. Hey Mo. Have we got a great show for you today. That's right Mo. Did you know that Sweden and Finland had single unwed mothers? No kidding. Then America's not so different from the rest of the world after all. But what percent of their unwed mothers are poor? 5%. Now that's where we stand out. How's that? What makes us different? Dare I say great? is here in America, 45% of our unwed mothers are poor. We're number one. Number one indeed. It seems to me though, to qualify as poor means one has little money. Now, this could be for a variety of reasons. Yeah, like not working. <laughs> hey, that's rather dismissive, don't you think, Mom? Hardly. There's plenty of work out there. Guaranteed minimum wage of $7.25, flexible work schedules, and the opportunity to work overtime or a second job. So, how is this mother going to be her child's primary caretaker if she's working long hours or two jobs to make ends meet? She's not. It's the price she pays for getting pregnant in the first place. You know, she could have just... Hold on, Mo. Let's not go there, for goodness sake. Yo, you hold on, PT. I wasn't thinking about blowjobs. Then what were you thinking about? Jeez, I was thinking about abstinence. Back to the matter at hand. How is this mother supposed to pull herself up by her own bootstraps if the possibility to improve her knowledge and skills are off the table? What do you mean off the table, PT? Many community colleges offer evening and weekend classes. And if she wants to spend more quality time with her child, she can enroll in a myriad of online classes and have her child sit on her lap, for God's sake. All right, <laughs> let's run with your genius construct. Let's say this mom needs to work 60 hours per week. Are we good with that premise? Where are you going with this, PT? Just answer my question, Mo. Are we good with my premise? Sure. We're good to go, PT. Alrighty then. Now, there are seven days per week. Each day has 24 hours. You still with me, Mo? Seriously, PT? Don't want to lose you, Mo. We know your math skills are... How can we delicately put this? So, well said, Mo. But we digress. Let's break down this mother's 24 hours, shall we? How many hours a day would you assign her to make money? Oh, that's easy. 12 hours. Now, this can be a combination of her regular shift plus overtime, or be split between two jobs. Three if necessary. Excellent. Now, that leaves her with 12 hours. Plenty of time. Did you know 12 hours is 720 minutes? Do you know how much can be accomplished in 720 minutes? Well, let's take a look. Here are a few items this mother needs to address over her remaining 12 hours. Feed herself and her child, personal hygiene for herself and her child, prepare and attend her online classes and produce classwork. She also must prepare and take exams. She'd probably like to read and teach and play with her child. Then there's laundry, housekeeping. Oh, and remember, travel time, to and fro from home and work and between jobs. And wouldn't it be nice to be able to nurture relationships with family and friends? Whoa, 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 Mo! What? You forgot! What? Sleep! Just saying!